Crypto update. Australian banks are leading the way again. Uh, an Australian bank, one of the big four, the ANZ Bank, mints the first Australian dollar stable coin. Okay, in Australia, there's four big banks that run the show. And two of them are minting their own stable coins and working on it right now. Okay, so the first one here is the ANZ Bank. Big four bank ANZ has become the first Australian bank to mint an Australian dollar AUD peg stable coin. Rival bank NAB has its own stable coin project, which is expected to launch by the end of the year. So the NAB and the ANZ, two of the big four, 50% of the banks in Australia, the others are working on it too, but these two are out in front and the ANZ has already minted its own stable coin. They've run a test transaction on the Ethereum blockchain. The pilot transaction saw Victor Smorgan send 22 million US, 30 million Australian as a test run. So $30 million to test to see if it works. They didn't want to waste any time, any money. So $30 million to these guys is nothing. Chain analysis has signed on to assist with compliance and the regulatory obligations. Until a DC, that's what the bank is calling their stable coin. We've not had a bank-backed Aussie dollar stable coin. Most of the industry utilizes non-bank and often unregulated USD stable coins. Now, with this big four bank issued AUD stable coin, the use case is a lot more compelling. While the transaction was conducted on Ethereum, he said ANZ was likely to take its time to weigh up its options with the distributed ledger technology, Hedera Hashgraph, also being looked at. Now, Hedera distributed ledgers can do the same sort of job for much less transaction costs than the Ethereum network. So Ethereum's getting better and they're larger, but on a cost basis, Hedera uh, seems to be able to supply what the ANZ needs anyway. They're looking at both of those and they'll make a decision when the time comes closer. McCall said it was inevitable. The big four banks will look to become major direct on-ramps, off-ramps to crypto in the near future. So Australian banks dealing directly with consumers and dealing in crypto. Big things happening, Australia leading the way once again. Uh, that's all for now.